This is a giant spaghetti monster. Lord Spaghetti says, Pray to me exactly 17 times every day, or you will go to hell. To go to heaven, you must tickle someone with a clockwise motion of your fingers exactly 41 times every day from age 7 onwards. If you don't do these things, after you die, your eyes will be plucked out a hundred billion times every second. These are my two great commandments. So, I hope you this was silly enough so you didn't get scared by it. But uh, this is a spoof to help you try to understand some of these uh, some of these videos that you may watch online. You can put anything you like in a YouTube video. I was careful not to say Lord says, but if you were, if this was someone from some obscure church started up by Joe Bloggs the plumber, then you would just say at the beginning Lord says, and then he'd say whatever nonsense that springs to his mind. And this is the sort of thing that is scaring some of the members of our group, and then they claim to be Christian and then they tell you you will go to hell for all sorts of silly reasons. And just anyone could say anything and for any obscure silly reason pop it up on the internet and then people will come and watch that video and they will believe it and they will be scared. Uh, so anyway that's all I wanted to say there and I uh, hope both this, this gets... Oh, put, put me onto the screen now. Oh, um, I've gone into finished now. Oh, it won't let me go topmost. Okay, I'm going to put the, um, I just want to say a little bit about illustrations of hell. Where people get scared by them. So, uh, so there we are, I'm back on the screen. So, um, for some reason, people get very scared of these illustrations that go on the internet and they have all these obscure things and if they're Christian they're following a good Christian path but then if someone goes and tells them say that if you go on the internet then you're going to go to hell and then and that's just not true if you go and look I mean do you think that the Archbishop Canterbury is going to go to hell or the Pope or the head of the Eastern Orthodox Church or Billy Graham and uh, all of those I either have used, because of course Bill Graham died recently, or they do use um, Twitter. And nowadays everyone is on the internet. You're not going to be going to hell because you go on the internet. That's a, it's the equivalent of, uh, and you're not addicted to the internet because you use the internet. Even if you use it all the time. All that means is that you're dependent on the internet. And you can be dependent on you're depending on breathing to stay alive and there's nothing wrong with being dependent on breathing indeed we are all in that situation and if you need to use the internet for shopping you need to use the internet to talk to your friends uh, use the internet to do all sorts of good things then that's absolutely fine that just means that you use the internet and don't worry if due to your circumstances, you spend nearly all your time on the internet. It's, uh, it's just like doing doing other things. Just, if that's part of your life, and if that's what you need to be alive, and to, to, to carry out your life in a modern society, then that's fine. So anyway, I just want to talk a little bit about these illustrations of hell. So there's a long uh, Christian tradition of these illustrations, and these are some of the ones from uh, Blake, and it shows um, heaven and hell, and these are the, uh, the cantos of uh, Dante and his visit to, inf to hell, and this is the, these put the gates of hell, and then these are all the things, all the best cantos, and you can read the poem, the stories of, of what happened there. And for some reason that's uh, uh, 
Cerberus, the cruel monster, at the uh, and fierce and strange, through his wide, feeful throat, barks as a dog, over the multitude immersed beneath his eyes glare crimson, black his unctuous beard, his belly large, and clawed the hands with which he uh, fear tears the spirits, flays them, and their limbs pierce piecemeal disparts, howling their spreads as curse under the rainy deluge, with one side the other screen, screening, oft they roll them round, a wretchedless, godless crew. That's from uh, Dante's Inferno, and that was illustrated by Blake, a um, very famous painter. And you can you can hear them this being read out. You can read this, and um, this these these things for a Christian reader who is um, following the Christian path, and you know you're doing you you're leading a good life as well as you can. Then this is not going to scare you, and um, but you go on the internet, and then you get people just saying that the spaghetti monster is going to pluck out your eyes a billion times a second, feeling something perfectly innocent and natural like going on the internet. And uh, so, uh, of course, this is just your belief from, from some branches of Christianity. They don't even, um, they don't believe that anyone's going to go to hell. So, it's just certain branches of Christianity that do that do believe in it. And it's, um, and it's, is it a metaphor? Is it a real thing? Is this really going to happen after you die? Or is it just a metaphor for uh, you know, that, that if you do uh, harmful things that you harm yourself and others and you can see that in this in this world and so uh, it's really uh, you, you can see that quite directly you know if you start if you if you steal things you might end up in prison and even if not then your mind's going to be tortured and you, you know you, you're not going to be the clear kind of very difficult to have a clear happy happy state just after you go and burgle someone and uh, it's not going to be easy if you tell lots of lies or, and especially if you've killed someone it's going to be very maybe going to torture you for the rest of your life in one way or another and, and or you're going to deal with it by having a very cold heart and sort of in that way you've, you've harmed yourself so uh, you can see very easily that the most harmful actions actually harm yourself and they harm others and so that's something everyone knows and these are um, are these perhaps just telling us about this very obvious fact in our own lives or are they telling us something about what happens after we die and um, if you're a Christian then you believe that God can um, forgive everyone and uh, that that Jesus can forgive everyone and so then you look at these hell round pictures and you're looking at it and you're thinking this is what Jesus is saving me from and so for a Christian this can be very positive to look at all these negative things and then think uh, Jesus by his grace by being on the cross by his great teachings he's given on the world to the world then he is, save, he is saving me from this give me a path to follow where I don't get immersed in all these things that get me into such trouble and cause so many problems for other people and myself so uh, looking at these images of hell, um, hell, hell, hell pictures it's not necessarily going to scare people it all depends on having a good context of some church some group, some spiritual path that you're following but if you just randomly go on the internet and you see what Joe Bloggs tells you about this great monster then of course you'll get scared if you happen to take these these YouTube scratchy monsters seriously so anyway that's all I wanted to say it's a short video that hopefully will help the people help some of the people in our group who have got on gone online and got scared by the absurd uh, spaghetti bonds uh, sayings that you can find on YouTube in such vast numbers, huge numbers of videos of people. There's no shortage of people on YouTube to telling you that you're going to go to hell. I don't know why they do it, but there are loads and loads of people who seem to think that this is their mission in life. Just try and and try and try and ground yourself. Find a really good spiritual tradition and uh, join. 
join that if you need a religious path. And for some people, it's best not to have a religious path. And that's up to you. Some people find atheist, agnostic or humanist traditions are best. And there's no reason why you can't do that. Just whatever works. Um, I'm from the Doomsday Debunk group Facebook. Um, Facebook group Doomsday Debunked. Uh, fact checks indeed. And, uh, and uh, science blogger and do join our group uh, if you uh, need help with this sort of thing and you'll find people there to reassure you and help you and uh, do a job, join if you're good at helping people if, you, if you, you, you want to try and help other people who are scared of such things or if you've got a good background and if you're if you have a good background in theology in, in the real, real you know, true theology, not spaghetti bonds of theology then we very much welcome you in the group as well to help other people who are kind of um, on and do read the rules at the head of the group if you do that. Thanks.